All right, we're going to have to divide this thing down the middle here. I feel like you're creeping over onto my side. Because <laughs> 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 All right, no, just kidding. <laughs> Catch up. <laughs> well, today I continue with part five of the series, A Clear Message of Grace. Yeah. And uh, today I'm going to be talking about the subject, A New Nature. Yeah. So part five, a new nature. 第五部分, so what is the clear message of grace? It's a message of forgiveness. It's a message of the gift of righteousness. It's a message of unbroken access to God. It's a message of no longer under the law, but under grace. And it's a message of you've received a new nature. So this flows on from last week, no longer under the law. And we finished off last week asking the question. If you take the law off Christians, then what is left to restrain them? Won't they just run off into sin and selfish living? Sometimes the fact that people have to ask that question reveals that they don't know much about the new nature. For the believer, there is a new force inside of you. And it is far more effective than the old covenant law. Can you just maybe turn me down a little bit? Young. I feel like I'm booming here. <laughs> it's far greater than that old external law. It's called the new creation nature. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17. It says, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has passed away. Behold, the new has come. Do you know when you were born again, a miracle took place inside of you? God recreated you anew. Your old self that was dead to God and under the power of sin and death died. And it passed away. Now God has recreated you as a new being in Christ. You have been supernaturally transformed on the inside. Your spirit is now alive to God and full of his nature. You are going to love this word today. Ephesians 4 verse 24. It says, put on the new self, or in other words, live by the new self, 
並且穿上新人嘅意思就即係話你要活着好似一個新人一樣。So put on the new self, created after the likeness of God in true righteousness and holiness. 並且穿上新人，這新人是照著神的像造的，有真理嘅仁義同聖潔。Your new nature, you, have been created after the perfect likeness of God. 你呢一個嘅新人係根據神完完全全嘅新嘅本性係被受造嘅。The new nature is better than the law. 呢一個新嘅本質咧，係比律法係更加更加好。That old inferior way of trying to be restrained by the law has given way to the superior way of the new nature. 點解咧？因為新嘅方式咧，係勝過咗舊嗰種低低級嘅，佢係比律法限制嗰一個嘅方法。Well done, good translating. <laughs> no longer do we need the law telling us what to do and not to do. 我哋再唔需要咧，俾律法話俾我哋聽，我哋應該做啲乜，同埋唔應該做啲乜。Now we have the life force of God on the inside of us. 而家喺我哋里边就已经有神一个新嘅力量喺度帮助我哋。And he wants to live through us。佢想透过我哋彰显呢一个生命。He wants to get out。佢好想透过我哋出嚟啊。He wants to live through us。佢想喺我哋里边系出诶放出生释放生命啊。Galatians two nineteen and twenty。加拉太书二章第十九节。It says, "For through the law, I died to the law, so that I might live to God. I have been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me." 喺加拉太书二章第十九至二十节嗰度讲话，我因律法就向律法死了，叫我可以向神活着。我已经与基督同钉十字架。現在活着的不再是我，乃是基督在我里边活着，并且我如今在肉身活着，是因信神的儿子而活，他是爱我，为我舍己。Hi, Jill. Welcome back. <laughs> 欢迎你 ，Jill. <laughs> you guys following? 跟得到吗 ？All right. I want to talk about shadow versus substance. 我想同大家讲影儿同埋真像。The law was just a shadow of the, of the true substance that was imparted to us through Christ. 律法咧就系一个真诶系真像嘅影儿嚟嘅啫。呢一个真像咧系透过耶稣基督系传递分赐俾我哋。What the law was powerless to do, Christ has done for us. 律法冇能力做到嘅事，耶稣基督就为我哋完成咗啦。In other words. The law could not get rid of your old fallen nature or give you a good new nature. 换句话讲咧，律法就系唔能够使我哋除去堕落堕落嗰个本性，而使我哋咧系变成为完全嘅。The law couldn't give us a perfect nature. 律法唔可以俾一个完全嘅本性我哋。But in Christ, 但喺耶稣基督里边 ，our old self died and passed away. 我哋旧嗰个人已经系死去。已經過去咗啦。And then we were raised to life together with Christ as a brand new person。我哋透過耶穌基督係復復活，而可以有一個新嘅人同埋樣式。With a perfect nature。係有一個完全嘅本質。The God nature。係神嘅本質。That is full of God。係完完全充滿咗神嘅本質。Your nature。Is now full of God. 你而家嘅本质系已经完全嘅被神充满。Colossians two verse nine and ten. 哥罗西书二章九同埋十节嗰度讲。Says for in Christ all the fullness of the deity lives in bodily form, and you have been given fullness in Christ. 因为神本性一切的丰盛都有形有体的居住在基督里边。你们在他里面也得了丰盛，他是各样执政掌权者的元首。One Corinthians six verse seventeen. 哥林多前书六章第十七节。It 
It says, but he who is joined to the Lord becomes one spirit with him. So if you are in Christ, you are joined to Christ. You have become one with Christ. And you have been given all the fullness that is in Christ, it is now in you. Some of you are going to see some things today. <laughs> and you're going to get pretty excited about what's taken place in you already. Inside of your reborn spirit, you have all the fullness of God's love. His joy, his peace, his patience, his kindness, his goodness, his faithfulness, his gentleness, his self control, and so much more. God is no longer trying to get you to live up to a certain set of rules. He is simply trying to get you to be yourself. Your true self. Amen. Your new nature doesn't want to sin. Revelation. <laughs> it wants to do everything that is in God's nature. Sin is foreign to your new nature. Your new nature wants to live for God in total righteousness, love and obedience. That's not even a sacrifice to your new nature. It's now your new natural tendencies and desires. Simply behave according to your new nature. The gospel is not a message of how Jesus came to make people behave better. The gospel is a message of how Jesus came to make dead people alive. He didn't come to bring more law into our life. He came to exchange our old fallen nature with his new nature. A God empowered nature. That, it, that has his desires, his passions, and his holiness. God's nature is the reason we do things for him. It's our new motivation. That's why we love. That's why we give. That's why we're passionate about the things God is passionate about. It's why we can have true joy. True peace. Patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self control. <laughs> and the rest. <laughs> it's the reason. We don't lie, cheat, steal. Gossip, slander, lust, covet, and so on. Our new nature is our new inner moral guide. And it is far greater than the law. 
呢個指引起比律法係更加更加超越。Under the law, if you could get away with something, you'd do it. <笑>如果喺律法以下，我哋咧就避過人哋嘅耳目嘅時候，我哋會重複嘅去做。But when you have a new nature, you won't do it. 但係當我哋有一個新嘅本質嘅時候，我哋唔會做。Or you, you don't want to do it. 你唔會想做。Even if you could get away with it. 就算人睇唔到，你都唔會去做。This is the safeguard of radical grace. 呢一個就係一個激進嘅恩典上高嘅一個護誒護衞牆。Does this mean that there's no more temptation? 咁係咪代表我哋再冇試探咧 ？Of course not. 當然唔係啦。Of course not. 當然唔係啦。Temptation will be around till the day we go to be with the Lord. 我哋呢種嘅試探咧，一路都會存在，直至我哋翻天家見神。我哋要講真話啊嘛。因為咧，律法時時想引誘我哋去犯罪。It appeals to your body and to your mind。佢會使吸引我哋嘅肉體同埋我哋嘅思維。Not to your spirit。但係佢做唔喺我哋嘅靈度做唔到嘢。Because your spirit is perfect。因為你嘅靈係完全嘅。And your spirit cannot sin。你嘅誒靈咧係唔會犯罪嘅。But your mind and body are still part of the old creation。但係因為你嘅肉體同埋你嘅思維係屬於舊人嗰個本質。And are subject to the frailties of this fallen world。所以係根據呢一個世界墮落嘅世界，佢哋非常之脆弱嘅。Your mind and body will one day become part of the new creation. 你嘅身體同埋你嘅思維有一日咧都要被誒復活。But that's only when we go to be with the Lord, according to 1 Corinthians 13 and 15. 而咧呢一個嘅本質咧就會有一日咧都要被神咧係誒誒變為咧係完全嘅。咁係誒根據於哥林多前書嗰度所講嘅。That's when our bodies will be glorified. 以致咧，我哋嘅身體係被神去榮耀。And our minds will become perfect。而我哋嘅思維咧，亦都係成為完全。But that hasn't happened yet。但係未曾發生嘅噃。Contrary to what some crazy people believe。或者有啲人咧就咁樣相信，但係我哋同佢講相反。You preach that stuff, you're a little bit cuckoo。如果你聽嗰啲咧，你就會覺得自己有少唔係好正常咁。Because all you need to do is be aware of your own body. Yeah. Your 所以咧，你就需要好醒察你自己嘅肉體同埋你嘅思維啦。And if you think this is perfection, then wait till you get to heaven. <笑>如果你覺得認為自己而家已經好完全嘅話咧，唔該你等等翻天家嘅時候點樣發生。But this is why the Bible says to us in Romans 12 that we are to offer our bodies as living sacrifices. And to renew our minds. 呢個就正好似羅馬書第十二章所講嘅，我哋咧就係要誒成誒要誒將身體獻上活祭一樣。This basically means we need to learn how to surrender our body and our mind to our new nature. 呢一個嘅講法就係話，將我哋將身體同埋我哋嘅思維係完全降服喺我哋嘅新性情裏邊。So if we're not under the law. Is it okay to just keep sinning? 如果我哋唔係喺律法以下，我哋係咪可以繼續嘅咁犯罪呢 ？Of course not. <laughs> 當然唔得啦。Obviously, it's not okay to just keep sinning. 當然繼續嘅去犯罪係唔得嘅啦。It's like some people accuse us that we're preaching that. <laughs> 有啲人控訴我哋咧，咁樣講恩典嘅信息。Which is probably the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard in my life。其實喺我生命上，我聽到呢一啲嘅誒評判誒判語咧，我係覺得非常之荒謬。Firstly， 首先 ，You are no longer sin is no longer your master。因為罪再唔係你嘅主人啦。You are no longer a slave to sin。你再唔係罪嘅奴僕啦。You have dominion。你係有權柄嘅。You just need to exercise it。你只係需要去施行呢種權柄。You just need to take it。你需要係揸住呢個權柄。Secondly， 第二點 ，sin is distracting and destructive。而罪咧，只不過係分散你注意力而去毀壞你嘅。Most Christians I find though 
are not asking the question, how can I get away with more sin? 其實好多基督徒，我發覺咧，佢哋問緊一個問題咧，就唔係真係問緊一個問題，話我點樣能夠逃避罪 ？How many Christians do you know that are saying, I just wish I could find a way to get away with more sin？ 你咪聽到好多嘅誒基督徒喺度講話，哎呀，我就好真係好想唔犯罪，唔犯罪。I just love the distraction and the destruction that it brings into my life。有冇人咧就喺度講話，我只不過咧希望咧誒有一啲就俾佢毀壞破壞性嘅去影響我生命。I just love how it enslaves me and makes me feel like a loser。啊，我好想咧呢罪咧成成使我咧就成為奴僕，然後咧我覺得自己係一個失敗者。Oh, maybe grace, maybe grace, I can sin more under grace。哇，係咪咧有恩典嘅時候咧，我就可以繼續繼續犯罪咧 ？I want to find out about grace so I can sin more。啊，如果咧我有有恩典咧，我就可以繼續嘅犯好多罪。I don't think I've met one Christian like that. 我唔相信基督徒會咁樣去祈問。Because they're not out there. 因為佢哋唔係啊咁樣去問。If they are truly born again. 如果你真正嘅係重生嘅話。If they have a new nature. 如果佢有新嘅本質嘅話。The question most Christians are asking is. 而大部分基督徒其實係問緊一個咩問題咧 ？How can I get sin away from me? 我就係希望咧呢罪啊完全啊離開我走開啊。How can I overcome and walk in victory? 我係點樣能夠得勝，以致我可以揸住得勝咁樣去生活啊 ？Because that's the cry of the new nature. 呢個就係新本質裏邊嘅人嘅呼求。Because the truth is, your new nature is not okay with sin. 因為真正嘅誒誒呢一個誒事實上咧，喺我哋裏邊嘅真本性係唔中意有罪嘅。It's against sin. 係其實我哋係敵擋罪嘅。It doesn't want to sin. 佢唔想犯罪嘅。It wants you to walk in victory。佢好想你能夠得勝咁活著。And the answer is not more law, it's more grace。因此，我哋嘅答案咧就唔係要多啲嘅律法，而係多啲嘅恩典。Amen。阿門。Titus two verse eleven and twelve。啊，提多書第十一章第二節。For the law of God。係係二章第十一同埋十二。Sorry, sorry, mistake. For the grace of God has appeared that offers salvation to all people. It teaches us to say no to ungodliness and worldly passions and to live self-controlled, upright, and godly lives in this present age. 因為神救眾人的恩典已經顯明出來。教訓我們除去不敬虔的心和世俗的情慾，在今世自守公義、敬虔度日。It's a relationship with God and a, re- and a revelation of who you are in Christ that will cause you to overcome and walk in victory. Amen. 呢度就講緊係因為你同神建立咗一個關係，使到你喺耶穌基督裏邊咧係得到佢關於誒上帝嘅啟示。So the question: If we take law off believers, then what will serve as their moral guide? 咁我哋有一個問題就係話，如果我哋將到律法拎開離開咗信徒嘅時候，有咩嘢係可以成為佢道德嘅指引咧 ？The answer. 答案咧 ？Grace. 恩典。聖靈。What have we been talking about this whole preach? 究竟講緊乜咧 ？Yeah, why do you think I named my publishing business New Nature Publications? 誒，點解我哋叫做新嘅本質嘅一個印刷嘅公司咧？呢個係佢嗰個印刷公司嘅名稱。It's not the law; it's our new nature. 唔係律法啊，係我哋新嘅本質。It's so much more superior. Than the law. 佢對相對於律法嚟講係佢超越好多嘅。The law is perfect, but our fallen state, our flesh, was weak. 律法本身係完全嘅，但係我哋自己嘅肉體就係非常之軟弱嘅。And so trying to live by the law is actually weak and useless. 所以當我哋咧想係符合咗律法嘅要求，我哋係非常之困難、軟弱嘅。And all it'll do is just crush you and condemn you and make you feel guilty, make you feel like you've fallen short from God, and God doesn't love you anymore, and it'll actually drive you further and further away from God. 其實係使到你咧，好似受壓制一樣，你覺得你自己好唔能夠，好唔能夠達成，而且係有呢一個嘅控訴不斷喺你裏邊產生，以致咧你自己覺得非常之軟弱，同神誒甚為虧缺。
Grace shows you you're totally forgiven. You've been made righteous. There is nothing that can separate you from God. You're no longer under the law and you have a brand new nature. 而恩典咧，系使我哋知道咧，神已经系完全咁救赎咗我哋，使到我哋里边有一个完全新嘅本性。So we're not just saved out of the law into nothingness。我哋唔系话将律法拎走咗之后，我哋变为无有。We're released and set free from the law to come into grace。我哋从呢一个嘅律法咧，能够拯救出嚟嘅时候，而神咧就将我哋带入呢一个恩典嘅自由里边。To come into the new nature。進入咗一個新嘅本質。God's nature inside of you。神嘅新本質喺你裏邊。Powerful life force of God living inside of you。滿有生命嘅動力、大能嘅動力已經住喺我哋裏邊。Do you know how much power you've got inside of you？ 你知唔知你裏邊有好多嘅大能啊 ？Do you know how much glory you've got inside of you？ 你知唔知你裏邊可以做到好多好多你做未曾做嘅嘢 ？Do you know how much love and joy and peace？ And freedom you've got inside of you. 你知道你里边系拥有几多嘅爱啊、和平啊、公义喺你里边啊 ？All of God's. 系所有神一切嘅。The fullness of God inside of you. 神嘅一切丰盛已经喺你里边。Law awakens your flesh. 律法只系能够警醒你嘅肉体。Grace awakens your spirit. 而恩典系将你嘅灵去警醒。And we're called to walk in the spirit. 而使到我哋能夠喺靈裏邊行走。You cannot walk in the spirit if you're walking under law。如果我哋喺律法裏邊行走嘅時候，我哋就唔能夠行喺靈裏邊。At best, you can just walk by your flesh。最多你就只係用你自己嘅肉體去抗衡。But when you walk in grace, it awakens your spirit, and you begin to access all of that fullness that is inside of you。如果你係行喺恩典裏邊嘅時候，佢就能夠使到你去達到一切嘅豐盛，而呢一個嘅層面就係完全嘅揭開。Now we're nearly finished. 我哋就嚟完啦。So while our new nature is our best moral guide， 如果我哋新嘅本性就系我哋嘅诶道德指引嘅话呢 ？There are there are a few other things that serve to guide us in this life。喺我哋生命上高，仲有一啲嘢咧，其实都系我哋嘅好重要嘅指引。That are valid and important。佢哋都系好真实同埋重要嘅。For instance, common sense。例如啦，我哋嘅常识啦。Us grace people have not kissed goodbye our common sense. 我哋一啲有恩典嘅人咧，就唔系话自己已经脱离咗一般嘅常识噶啦。We also live by common sense. 我哋亦都住喺一个常识里边嘅。Wisdom and past experiences. 智慧啦，同埋啊一系诶我哋嘅经验啊。Are also another guide. 亦都系我哋一啲指引嚟。Our past experiences sometimes show us. Stop doing that thing. It doesn't work. <laughs> 其实我哋过去嘅经验有时都提醒我哋，喂，唔好做呢啲事啊，唔得噶。Another thing that helps us is discipline. 另外一啲嘢就系纪律啦，能够帮助我哋。Just discipline. 就系纪律咁简单。If you want to get fit, you need to run. 如果咧你好想健身嘅话，你一定要去跑下步啦，做运动。Or cycle or swim. 啊，或者踩下单车、游水。And your body says, 你嘅身體會同你講 ，Stop this， 停咯。What are you doing？ 你究竟做乜嘢啊 ？This is hurting me， 傷緊我啊。And your spirit man says， 但係你靈嗰個人就同你講 ，Shut up， 收聲啊。You will run， 你啊要去跑啊，嗱而家去跑啦。And the more you run， 如果你 fit you get， 誒跑多啲咧，你就發自己 fit 好多啦。Sometimes sin is pressing in. 有時罪咧就湧過嚟。Your body says, "Oh yes." 你嘅身體就喺度講話。Oh. Your spirit man says, "Shut up." 你個靈誒嗰個人就講話收聲。Run. 走吧。And we run. 咁佢哋就走啦。And this is why we get fit. 所以咧，我哋就能夠健到身啦。So、我哋繼續跑啦。And get far away. 誒，我哋越嚟越犀利。Just discipline is good. Is a good thing. 呢啲都係好好嘅嘢。What else? 仲有啲乜咧 ？Your conscience. 就係你嘅良知。Your conscience is also a moral guide. 你嘅良知亦都係你一個道德嘅指引。Amen. 阿門。The law of the land. 或者喺我哋呢一度嘅律法啦。
We are not saying that you are released from the law of the land. You are still under the law of the land. <laughs> the law of the land is good. Sometimes, yeah, not always. <laughs> Let me just qualify that. <laughs> Depends also what country you live in. <laughs> There are some countries that you are released from that law. <laughs> But we're not going to talk about that. Spiritual parents, mentors, and coaches. Can I say this? All of us need spiritual parents, mentors, and coaches in our life. 其实我哋生命上都好需要一啲帮我哋去辅导嘅人，好似啲熟龄父母啊，一啲教练啊，或者系一啲辅导员咁。To push you， 佢咧能够推动你。And to challenge you， 去挑战你。And to bring the best out of you， 要将到你最好嘅拎出嚟。Because sometimes we just want to give up <笑>。有时我哋想放弃。And sometimes we want to run and hide。有时咧我哋想就逃避。Sometimes we want to mope and whinge and whine。不有時我哋就喺度，唉，炸嬌啦，殺下嬌咁啊。And sometimes you just need someone who loves you to say, stop that, get up。有時我哋亦都需要一啲愛你嘅人同你講話，停止，唔好咁樣做，你繼續持續嘅要去向前跑。Because I believe in you。因為我相信你。And you are made for greatness。你能夠創造偉大。And not the pig star。唔係，只不過咧求求其其嘅嘢。The Holy Spirit. He's a good God. He definitely helps. <laughs> the Word of God. Yeah, that's good. So we release from the law. And we've got a whole lot of good stuff. But your best God is. Your new nature. 但係你最好嘅指引就係你裏邊嗰個新嘅本質。God's nature in you. 神嘅本質喺你裏邊。And all you need to do to be like God is. 而最重要嘅，你要好似神咁樣，就係。Be yourself. 係成為你自己。Your true self. 你真正嘅自己。Amen. 阿門。Why don't you stand? 好，大家一齊起立。Woo.